Hello everybody, welcome to another presentation of an example of the kind of life-changing work uh, we all carry out here at London Dental Specialists on a routine basis. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us um, at London Dental Specialists on Instagram and Facebook. So let's get into today's presentation. It is about a six or three year old lady um, who, ref who was referred to me by her own uh, general dentist because the dentist was concerned about the widespread nature of her unstable, unstable gum disease. So we took uh, the customary x-rays um, and I'm starting by showing you an x-ray because in general, this is, this is the problem with gum disease. In general, the gums tend to look relatively straightforward or look relatively normal. Um, and it, that's why it affects so many people so severely because many people, some people do bleed um, and bleeding gums is not normal, but many people don't. Um, and the gums generally look very normal until an x-ray is taken and then that x-ray reveals a multitude, a multitude of problems. So let's look at this, this x-ray. This x-ray is actually a CT scan um, and I'm going to focus in on a section in the lower left. So we took a CT scan um, of the upper and the lower jaw, but let's look at the lower left in a bit more detail. So this is the lower left wisdom tooth. It should be erupted. It should be fully out of the mouth, but it's not. It's stuck in the jawbone. Um, and for those of you who can see my um, light, you can see that there is this white line um, that is demarcated there, and I've shaded it in, uh, in blue there, because that is a cyst associated with the lower left wisdom tooth. And you may all be thinking, why is he talking about a cyst associated with lower left wisdom tooth? And it's because this yellow line outlines where the nerve, the nerve that supplies your lower lip, um, runs along this yellow line. Now, in general, okay, that cyst should be nowhere near that uh, nerve that supplies your lower lip because with continual growth of that cyst, you could end up um, with a numb lip. But the process of treating um, that cyst at this stage is actually very difficult because um, we need to be able to remove that cyst completely, but the process of removing it also carries a risk of causing the one problem that we want to avoid, which is the numb lip. So my biggest tip uh, for you all is, if you have impacted wisdom teeth, make sure that they are scanned on a relatively regular basis. In my practice, if we are not taking the wisdom tooth out, then we scan them every five years, just to make sure that we never find ourselves in a situation where a patient is has a very slow growing, it's not cancer or anything like that, but it's a slow growing cyst um, that could eventually lead to numbness of the lip and also fracture um, of the jaw. And I mean, when I mean fracture of the jaw, I don't mean fracture because uh, the patient has been, has been hit. Uh, they could just be chewing or eating something um, and the jaw just suddenly fractures. Uh, that's because the cyst has weakened, has weakened the jaw. All right, so the next thing that I just want to spend a bit more time on is just showing you the whole uh, lower jaw. And as customary with our videos, the yellow line here shows the level of, uh, of bone loss, or the, the current level of the bone. And the green line shows the original, the original level of the bone. Um, and in general, you can see that from here to here, so this is the lower front 10 teeth, the 10 lower uh, front teeth, um, the green and the yellow line are coincident. So that means that everything is healthy, but they begin to diverge on the lower left and they begin to diverge again, again on the lower right. Uh, and that shows that there's been an area of, of, of bone loss. All right. So what are the main problems? They are the cyst associated with lower left wisdom teeth, tooth, which needs to be dealt with, and also generalized gum and implant disease because there's a lot going on um, in this lovely patient's mouth. I'm going to split it in half. Today's video would be focusing on the lower jaw, particularly the lower left, and then tomorrow's video would be everything else uh, that we did in this lovely patient's mouth. 
So this is where we started. So this is the impacted lower wisdom tooth with a cyst associated, associated with it. And this cyst has to be removed um, for reasons we already discussed. And what did I do? Um, on the day of surgery, I literally made a cut there, okay, and removed the crown. It's, the procedure is called a coronectomy. Uh, I removed the crown and removed the cyst at the same time. The reason why I didn't remove the whole tooth is because the tips of this, the tip of this, uh, the root of the lower wisdom tooth is in direct contact. That CT scan revealed that it was in direct contact with the nerve associated uh, uh, with uh, the, the nerve that supplies the lower lip was in contact with that root. Um, and if I had tried to put any kind of pressure to pull that root up, that could have compressed the nerve, uh, leading to numbness, which you wanted to avoid. And that's why the, the procedure of the coronectomy was first described. It's a, it, it, it's a fantastic procedure, achieves the, uh, the advantages um, uh, of removing a wisdom tooth without uh, many or the main risk, which is the, the, the altered sensation to the lip. So in that same, in that same surgical appointment, in addition to removing the, the, the crown uh, of, 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 the, of the tooth, I also removed this root here because the x-ray shows that there is also severe bone loss um, associated with that root. So I, so I removed it and re then referred her to my wonderful, absolutely amazing root canal specialist who I've worked with for years. She's absolutely fantastic. And she did a beautiful root canal, fi root canal filling on those tooth. And that's this little white line here that it is, that is not here. Okay. Um, and this is what the final um, uh, uh, gum looks like. Uh, there's beautiful gum. You may or may not be able to see that there is a, this, so this is the lower left, this tooth is this one, this tooth is that one. And you may be able to see that there's a little gap in there. And all our patient does is pushes in some super floss um, in there uh, uh, to keep that area clean. And in the long term, this tooth is as good, it is as good as any dental implant. So if this was, if this was all that was going on in our patient's mouth, how long would it have taken us? Well, it would have taken us about two months to complete, um, not, nothing more than that. Uh, the surgery uh, would have cost uh, approximately £2,000. I'm talking about the removal of the cyst, the, the, the coronectomy, so the removal of the crown, and also removal of this root. That would have cost, on average, about £2,000 versus £3,000, which uh, is what it would cost to replace this dumb disease affected tooth which can be saved and we at london dental specialists are really committed uh, to saving to saving teeth and as with every every case finance options are always available so why not just do two things one follow come back tomorrow and see what we did for the rest uh, uh for the rest of her mouth um and also either refer yourself or, or get your dentist or your hygienist uh, to refer you to, to see me so that we can get on top of your gum disease um, and give you what you want, which is to save your teeth. Thank you very much.